Today's drug is Meloxicam. Brand name, Mobic. The pharmacologic and therapeutic class is that it's a non-opioid analgesic. It's also a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug or NSAID. Dosage form and strength. The medication comes as a capsule in a 5 mg and 10 mg strength. It also comes as an injectable in a 30 mg per 1 ml concentration. There's also the tablet that comes in a 7.5 and 15 mg strength. And there's also the orally disintegrating tablet which comes in a 7.5 and 15 mg strength. Indications and dosing for adults. The first thing to note is to use the lowest dose in CYP2C9 poor metabolizers, and also if there is a lot of GI upset, take the medication with food. The first indication is for osteoarthritis. For the capsules, the treatment range is between 5 and 10 mg by mouth every day. Initiate at 5 mg by mouth every day with a max of 10 mg per day. For the tablet, the treatment range is between 7.5 and 15 mg every day. Initiate at 7.5 mg every day with a max of 15 mg per day. The next indication is for rheumatoid arthritis. For the tablets, the treatment range is between 7.5 and 15 mg every day. Initiate at 7.5 mg every day with a max of 15 mg per day. There is an off-label use for gout flares. 15 mg by mouth every day initiated within 24 to 48 hours of flare onset. Discontinue 2 to 3 days after resolution. The treatment duration is typically between 5 to 7 days. Indications and dosing in pediatrics. The notes are also the same regarding using the lowest dose in CYP2C9 poor metabolizers and to take the medication with food if there is a lot of GI upset. The only indication in pediatrics is for juvenile idiopathic arthritis. In patients greater than 60 kg, the dose is 7.5 mg by mouth every day with a max of 7.5 mg per day. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology Meloxicam is a reversible inhibitor of the COX-1, COX-2 enzymes, resulting in a decrease of thromboxane and prostaglandin synthesis. The inhibition of the COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes cause antipyretic, anti-inflammatory, and analgesic effects. Other factors that may also contribute to meloxicam's efficacy are the inhibition of chemotaxis and neutrophil aggregation and activation, the decrease of pro-inflammatory cytokine levels, and the alteration of lymphocyte activity. Meloxicam is metabolized hepatically via the CYP2C9 and CYP3A4 pathways. It's primarily excreted in the urine as inactive metabolites. The time to peak for the suspension is between 1 to 3 hours in children and 6 to 12 hours in adolescents. In adults, the capsules are within 2 hours, the tablet is between 4 to 5 hours, and the orally disintegrating tablet is between 4 to 12 hours. Food prolongs the time to peak by around 8 hours. The half-life elimination is between 13 and 22 hours, respectively, for children and adults, and oral and IV. The medication is 99% protein-bound. Special Populations and Considerations For the renally impaired, avoid use. If the patient is on hemodialysis, the max is 5 mg per day for the capsules, or 7.5 mg per day for the tablets. In hepatic impairment, the child pew class A or B, no adjustments. For child pew class C, there is limited data available. Regarding pregnancy, birth defects have been observed in utero from NSAID exposure in various studies. NSAID use close to conception may be associated with miscarriages. Side effects. Some common side effects are nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, anemia when long-term use, fluid retention, tinnitus, photosensitivity, UTI and URI, and many others. Some serious side effects are GI bleeding, perforation, and ulcers. 
stroke MI or thromboembolism, nephrotoxicity, hyperkalemia, and many others. There are black box warnings for meloxicam. The first is for cardiovascular thrombotic events. There is increased risk of serious and potential fatal cardiovascular thrombotic events such as MI and stroke from NSAID use. Risk occurs early in the treatment initiation and with longer durations of therapy. The next black box warning is for GI bleeding, ulceration, and perforations. There is increased risk of serious potential fatal GI adverse events such as bleeding, ulcer, stomach perforation, and intestine perforation. GI events may occur at any time without warning or signs or symptoms. The elderly and patients with a history of PUD, or peptic ulcer disease, and GI issues are the highest at risk. Drug Interactions The drug interaction profile is meloxicam is a CYP2C9 substrate. It has antiplatelet effects. There is a concern for hyperkalemia, hypertensive effects. It lowers seizure threshold and others. A contraindicated medication is Ketorolac. Some drugs to avoid is aspirin and other NSAIDs, such as diclofenac, ibuprofen, and naproxen, anoxaparin, valsartan, and others. Monitoring parameters. Monitor creatinine, dehydration, blood pressure, CBCs, LFTs, renal function, and signs and symptoms of GI bleed. Patient counseling information. Meloxicam is commonly used to treat arthritis and to ease pain. Common side effects that are GI-related can be minimized if taken with food.